Hey everyone, it's Zerelda here, and today I'm coming to you from Falcon Reach in Dragon Fable. Now, there's a really good reason. This month is the month of Dragon Fable's seventh birthday anniversary, sort of thing. And to do that, they've got some really cool things just in the June birthday panel. Now, I promise that this is actually pretty cool, or else I wouldn't be doing a Dragon Fable video just out of nowhere. I've actually wanted to do one for a while, but I've been focused on the others. But this one seems quite important. There's the ultimate scythe here. Um, it's the present... oh no. As you can see just over here though, there's different presents designated for each release of the month. The first one's been 200 free dragon coins for everyone. So if you don't already have an account, you've lost out. But if you're an old player or you're a regular player, that's what you got. Now the ultimate scythe is... A, I think it's a really cool looking thing, but I'll explain why it's so good in a second. There's two different versions. There's the Ultimate Dragon Scythe of the Elements for non-Dragon Amulet holders and the Ultimate Dragon Amulet Scythe of the Elements for Dragon Amulet holders. Now, stat-wise, there's actually no difference. They're all exactly the same. The difference is the Dragon Amulet one costs 500 Dragon Coins and the non-Dragon Amulet one costs 5,000. Now, don't worry too much about what level this is because you can actually take it and have it upgraded and for free as well so once you buy this weapon this is a weapon for life I just take you over here and demonstrate find this little guy in the corner go to weapons me I've got the dragon amulet version but as you can see from level ah every 10 levels or so and then here 75 and 80 so these stats are really nice like a 14 percent bonus to critical really good defensive stats and other cool little things so yeah it's a really good weapon and the best part is it can actually change elements and they say seven elements because it's the seventh birthday, but I'll show you how this works really soon. <laughs> like, now. Okay, so basically, I figured this was a good quest to just show off how the being able to change elements work. Mostly I'll just show that by default this thing's a water. You saw how much damage it did there. Um, 275, so if I look at this, he's got a real weakness to fire and energy, so I'll actually switch this to fire. And you just click on the orb, it tells you what element it's changed to, and it changes appearance. And all of a sudden you're doing a fair amount more damage. Let's go down here. Now that we've got a fire guy, we'll change to... It says water, but I think if you change it enough, let's just see. I don't know. It looks like it should be ice, but it did say seven elements. So I'm a bit unsure about this whole water thing. Try. Try here. Change it to energy, and then... It looks like it's just stuck on water. Which is a shame, but it's okay. I mean, seven elements. It's pretty good. But, um, you get the general idea. You can switch mid-battle to any element. So, <clears throat> basically, if you look at this weapon with seven different elements, that's essentially seven weapons in one that you don't have to carry. Now, that's a lot of inventory space you can save on me. I know I got at least 10 inventory space back, probably more like 12. Because not only did I have weapons my level, but I had weapons higher level, that, like level 75 and 80 weapons that I'm trying to get, that I'm just saving up for. Now because this thing merges, I don't have to worry about that. So this thing will save you a lot of inventory. But 5,000 dragon coins... That's actually quite a lot if you're a um if you're a non-member. 
if you're a oh, non-dragon amulet, if you have a dragon amulet, then this thing is definitely worth the 500. If you don't have a dragon amulet and you want this thing like anything, well then um, I should go with energy for this. The um, best thing to do would probably be to get a dragon amulet with the extra 2,000 for five dollars, I think it is, because or ten dollars or however much it comes to, because. Uh, you'll be able to buy this and have dragon coins left over for other things. And this, this is just one of those sides that um, you really want to have. I mean, this will this will last me for quite a while. Um, just an interesting thing because the nature sort of thing, it's split into stone and nature. This one takes stone, but of course I'm going to use wind against this. So as you can see, it's also a very nice looking. The animations change on this. It's it's a must have taken them a long time to do, but it's very nice. I definitely recommend this weapon to anyone with the dragon coins to afford it. Uh, bear in mind, I'm using Doom Knight, which is the most powerful class in the game. So your damage range is likely gonna differ. This thing's got an overpowered base <laughs> damage rate as well. And I can change that for some reason. So, I think this has been a pretty good quest actually, because it's shown you virtually every animation this thing has. The only real complaint I have is that I haven't been able to. I haven't been able to get ice, but that's okay. It's just weird, it does look like the ice orb to me. Switch it round enough. Oh! We've got ice! So there you go, you can actually get ice out of it. You've just got to switch it round a bit. Um, so, really, this is an eight element scythe, but advertised as seven elements with only seven. So, this is the. <laughs> uh, this is a great scythe. Highly recommended, as I've just said. Saves you eight spaces, not seven. <laughs> and. I guess you just got to be really happy with it. The yeah, no. The thing to be aware of is that there are a lot more than eight elements in this, this game. These are just the eight sort of elemental orbs, which are probably the most important and most regular. But you do miss out on things like metal, silver, nature, that sort of thing. But yeah, just letting you guys know of a really awesome weapon if you are into Dragon Fable. Uh, got a lot of plans for other videos, several classes, some Oversoul videos, some quest weapon videos for AQ World, so I'll keep you posted. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.